we'll be talking about um, how to handle environment variable in um, a Vite application. Um, I am using Vite React. Uh, it could be Vite Vue or whatsoever JavaScript li library. But the principles should be the same. So I'll quickly show you how you can uh, how you can call your environment variable. I've seen a lot of tutorials where people do a bunch of configurations in order for them to get the the environment variable. That is absolutely not necessary. In fact, some people go ahead to install packages like um, .env. All those are not necessary. So let me do this quickly. Um, by the way, if you're looking at this, this is uh, from my previous tutorial, um, how to make dark mode in um, React. I use a bit app back the way. So I'll just clear all this up so that we, we can focus on what really matters to us. So I just put a div here. And we also clear all this so that, okay, let's focus on what we have here today. So we can just do a simple H1 here. And um, we just put um, environment, sorry. All right, so save, okay. So just in case you're interested in the dark mode uh, tutorial, you can just check uh, in on my last tutorial. All right, so the first thing is to create a new file and we'll call it .env, new file .env. This is what everybody should know already. And then we'll, we'll create a random variable inside. So create a random variable random variable and we we'll give it a value a value can be anything so let's just type in anything there so the first thing you need to know with a vit application uh, is that you don't just name variables there's a pattern so i've just put in a random variable here this would not work but let's try it out so let's save it come to um the place where you want to call the uh the variable it could be anywhere but i'm using the base file here that is the app.jsx here so in here i i want to do something like maybe i use a p tag this time around and then i want to call in that variable and the variable for it to call it you use import so make sure that this is inside of um this curly braces so you do an import dot uh dot meta dot env dot what you called here or what you named your variable here so i just copy this and put it in here um and save it and see what comes out now nothing is showing um very likely because we've not done what we're supposed to do here so in here we're supposed to begin this variable name with vit vit and an underscore so we do vit v i t e and then underscore this save it and after saving it let's come back here and change this to what we have just named it now and save it you see as soon as we save it we have the variable showing up here and that is how you handle environment variable in the vit application now this could also work for react uh, i think <coughs> regular react i think um, if you're using a react app you might need to also change this to react app or react something like that so th there's no need to start installing new uh, packages and making your application necessarily heavy i don't need the extra configurations that i've seen a lot of people do in um the avit.config so this is this straightforward and that's all you need so thank you very much for watching this tutorial i'll see you in my next tutorial bye